Back in the 80s, the problem of bone marrow rejection was becoming increasingly clear. So a few scientists decided to look at cord blood as a new source of stem cells. Among them was Hal Broxmeyer. His task was clear. We had to prove that there were enough stem cells there that could be used for transplantation. And that was not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination. Hal Broxmeyer knew that for a successful bone marrow transplant, it took at least a litre of bone marrow to provide enough of these rare stem cells. If you think about a litre of bone marrow and, how, and, and what's needed really for transplantation, why would anybody have thought there were enough cells in cord blood? Because at the, at the best, you're only dealing with maybe uh, a half a cup. The scientific community in general was very skeptical and didn't believe that there would be sufficient stem cells in umbilical cord blood to reconstitute bone marrow. Um, so there was really um, a lot of uh, <laughs> distrust and, and um, very little expectations that this would work. But nonetheless, Broxmeyer and his team set about the painstaking work of counting the number of stem cells in cord blood. Because stem cells are rare, they are hard to count, and it took months of analysis. But in the end, their results amazed them. There were many more cells of the stem cell nature in cord blood than there was in a comparable amount of bone marrow. So you didn't have to have as much volume of cord blood because in a smaller volume, there were a lot more cells.